I was kind of brought up for 10 years by my paternal grandmother. I owe her just the greatest debt of gratitude. Popular television presenter Davina McCall was born to Florence and Andrew McCall in London in 1967, but spent most of her childhood living with her English grandparents. My grandma, Pippi, believes that we are the result of an illegitimate uh, child born of a, a, an affair with the royal. And I'd quite like to probe her a bit deeper about that. I mean, if anybody's going to know anything, it's, it's Pippi. And I'm right, you did look black on the television. Look, my, what, my yes, hair? Yes. Anyway, How are you? I'm very well, all the better. That's a super yeah, one of you with Daddy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I it, think I it look is, really like it, Daddy. It is. That's a really, really nice one, because he looks so chuffed to be with you. I mean, it was very tough for him, because he really would have loved to have been able to look after you, but, I mean, when you haven't got a wife, it, you know, and you've got a job and everything else. But it all worked out for the best. Davina's family believe their royal ancestor is George IV, who came to the throne in 1820. So we've got Pippi and Mickey here, mm -hmm. and then we've got Lulu mm -hmm. here. William, 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 yes, yes, yes. What was your grandmother's name? What's her name again? Gertrude Tarnage. Gertrude. And then it's Gertrude's mother. She was Charlotte Bedborough. So she is my great, great, great grandmother. Yes. And I've got this original marriage certificate. And it's from 18... 1851. Frederick Townsend to Charlotte Bedborough. She lived in Upton Park. And James Thomas Bedborough was her father. And this, that's him. That's James yes. Thomas Bedborough. Yes. My great, 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 great grandfather. Four times. So, hang on. Who is the illegitimate child? supposed to be by folklore is it well it, it must be uh, james. james thomas among dozens of others because he was a fairly randy old man george the fourth on the wall behind you that's a picture of upton park what and here it's very near windsor wow lulu always told me that george gave it to james i suppose as a wedding present nice so George the Fourth know. gave James Upton yeah, Park. I mean, that's not a fact. No, but you're, it's hearsay. You know, you're, it's hearsay. I, but these are the things yes. I want to uncover. Yes. So, Pippi, would it be all right if I borrowed that? Yes, absolutely. Could I do that? Absolutely. You but, can. No, you can keep that one. Really? Yes, you can keep it. Okay. For at least four generations, Davina's family has speculated about a link to royalty. Now she wants to find out if her ancestor, James Thomas Bedborough could really be the illegitimate son of George IV. I need to find out whether Upton Park is the key that we're looking for to connect us to George IV. I need to find out who James Bedborough was and if the house really was given to him by George IV. Yes, I need to go and kind of do some research. James Thomas Bed O R I U G H Father <laughs> George the Fourth. Sorry, sorry. Mm. Search. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's slightly different spelling. It's quite confusing. 30th of October, 1787. And his father was Thomas Bedborough. And his mother was Mary. Extracted birth or christening record for the locally listed source records. So that's Thomas and Mary. I did sort of want to see just illegitimate love child of George the Fourth, as if they're going to put that on the records. But a part of me thought that there'd be some information in here. There's no information. So I need to speak to a genealogist who's going to be able to kind of help me with a bit of digging. Davina's meeting royal genealogist Charles Mosley at the National Archives in Kew. Hi. Hi there. 
Nice How to meet you. you. I'm Davina. You? Yes, indeed. I recognise you from uh, Googling you last night. Oh, Good did you? Over. Did you? Yep. yep. And, and well, I'm, I don't want to know what you found out about me, but can I tell you what I found out about yes, my course. family? Yes, And what I'm after. So, mm -hmm. I found out that um, my four times grandfather mm -hmm. is a chap called James Thomas Bedborough. Yep. He lived at Upton Park mm -hmm. and it was given to him by King George IV as mm -hmm. he was one of, I would imagine, millions of illegitimate children. Millions is putting it a bit high. I have come up with the names of 15 or 16. Not all of them are definitely by him because many of the women he rogered uh, were <laughs> considerable gals in their day. This was the Regency period and had many lovers. And you get some cover-ups, some big cover-ups. For instance, there is a suggestion of jobs being given for them through the court. I can't say, of course, that everybody connected with royal palaces and getting jobs with the court was necessarily an illegitimate child of George IV. But how but if you somebody know? Was, you don't. You can't ever it's know. It's guessing. It, yeah, but it's intelligent guessing. Amongst the millions of records housed in the archives, Charles has found a number which refer to James Thomas Bedborough. Have you found something for me? I think I might have something that will tickle your fancy, yes. Oh, go on. Now, here we have... Let's try and open it at the right place. This is Jas T. James <gasps> Thomas Bedborough of New Windsor, I, Windsor. This is the notification of his apprenticeship. Right. 1804, so he's 16. Let's see what he's doing. Stonemason. Yeah. And so does that mean it's the end of our pursuit? No, 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 we've got plenty more. Uh, we're moving on now to 1811. This is the account of the works at Windsor Castle. Right. Uh, James Barbara Mason. There you are. <gasps> Taking down, cleaning and refixing chimney pieces. Chimney pieces. In his majesty. Oh, Majesty's in State Apartments. Yep. So that's very. And that's George special, III himself, a exactly. Job. Yep. And this Do you is think that's significant? Yes, I think it, I think it is. Perhaps you have James Bedborough, your ancestor, uh, working on the major royal residence of the time. Do you think that there would be any way of getting an even stronger sign? Or is this what I'm? This is all I'm going to get. What I'd love to do would evidence. be a DNA sample, but digging up George the Fourth would be a major operation. Oh, shame, yes. isn't it? Yes. I love seeing it in print. Yes, he's coming and alive. I, isn't but he? I feel pride yes, that yes. that's my yes. relative, and it's amazing how I don't know. I makes, just you take, I, makes you want to take up a chisel. Not that much pride, but no, enough. The price of stonemasons these that. days, you might, you might yes. want to try your own hand. Yes, Believe yes, me. this is true. Can I show you a portrait? Please do, because yes. Because my grandmother mm. has a very um, dodgy portrait. It's a, well, it's a photo of yeah, a portrait. of a portrait. Um, of James Thomas Bedborough. Mm -hmm. um, I would actually guess with that high collar, I would say perhaps 1830s. He's obviously done well for himself, judging by his good, um, good clothing. So clearly something more than just a stonemason. Really? Yes. Mm. Brilliant, thank you very much. I think my next step... Am I going to see you again? Uh, you can see me any time you want. <laughs> <laughs> but your next step is to go straight down to Windsor... I think so. ..and say, that was done by my great-great-great-great-grandfather. <laughs> <laughs>